Hey everyone, it's the Viperian here and welcome back to another Crash Team Racing video. I know that a lot of people are struggling with beating Velo's goals in Out of Time, based on the vote here that I posted on my YouTube channel. So this video aims to guide you step by step in beating Emperor Velo in Out of Time. Now one thing you have to keep in mind though is that Out of Time is a really, really weird map. I'm not sure why but for some reason it seems that you lose blue fire much more frequently and much more easier in this track. I don't know why, it might be a placebo effect but that's how I and many others certainly feel while attempting to beat him here. Out of Time is no doubt one of the toughest tracks for me to beat Velo on and after many many attempts I finally beaten him and got the hang of his ghost and I'm about to share my method to you guys in this video. Before we begin, you've got to know a few things about this method first. First of all, we all know that this track is extremely hard to maintain blue fire on even if you're good at the game. But what if I told you that I've actually beaten him without actually maintaining blue fire all the way? Yes, you heard that right, I did manage to maintain blue fire most of the time but I still managed to beat him. Secondly, I know that this might sound tough to newer players but you still need to have at least a little bit of skill in maintaining blue fire or sacred fire. In the first point, I mentioned that you don't need to maintain blue fire to beat him, but what I really mean by that is that you don't have to maintain blue fire for the entire race, which means that it is okay to lose blue fire, but only on certain parts of the map. This means that for the rest of the time, you still need to maintain blue fire, and I'm going to show you exactly which part of the map is okay to not have blue fire later on. So if you don't really understand how to maintain blue fire or sacred fire, click on the link above here first. I would highly recommend you to watch that first and then come back to the video later. And finally, for this method alone, I'm using the drift class to beat Velo in this map. I find that this driving style is the easiest for me to maintain blue fire for the most of the map. Plus, it is not too slow as well. However, you can try using other driving styles if you want to. Just be wary that the drift class is what I'm going for and this is what I'm using for this method. And now that's out of the way, here's a step-by-step -step guide on how to beat Emperor Velo's goals in Out of Time. As usual, start off by doing a perfect boost. This should be your main priority anyway in any race. Next, this is really crucial to get your momentum going. Proceed to drift boost directly to the left to build your reserves, but at the same time aim for the box right in the middle to activate the ramp on the other side. Immediately shift your cart directly to the right side and start drift boosting while taking your first turbo ramp. This will give you a big amount of boost and your main priority for now is to maintain it as long as you can. Once you reach the other side, I highly recommend to start drift boosting again to the left side and prepare to take the fence shortcut. If you don't know how to do it, just make sure to jump at the edge of the road. If you're still having trouble with the shortcut, click on the video here as I've already made a much detailed guide about it. Once you're over the fence, I would recommend to perform a U-turn here. To do that, press the square button, right and down arrow key all at the same time while you're in the air. If you're on the Xbox or Nintendo Switch, the buttons are the same as well. As you keep on going, just keep drift boosting and maintain your fire as long as possible. Don't worry to pass Emperor Velo yet, focus on keeping that sacred fire that you have on right now. Once you reach the inside of the clock tower, start drifting to the left here and then drift around 3 times, then take the jump to the other side. Do note that there is a very slight chance of you hitting an invisible wall here. If that happens, you have to restart the race. Continue to maintain drifting all the way to the blue fire pad. On the first lap, you only have sacred fire for now, so it should be pretty simple to drift around the place. Once you reach to the blue fire pad and enter lap 2, this is where the fun part begins. This time, avoid hitting the box and immediately start drifting to the right side, at the same time taking the ramp. This will build up your reserves as much as possible. Repeat the same steps again by taking the shortcut and you turning to the right side. And generally, just keep drifting and boosting until you reach the clock tower. Now this is where you'll be doing things a bit differently. Before you exit the clock tower with blue fire, you will need to start drifting to the left side immediately. Proceed to drift boost until the shortcut but don't stop there. A lot of you don't know this but you can actually continue to drift boost and take the shortcut at the same time. Doing this will do two things. It will remove any chance of hitting the invisible wall plus you can take this advantage to maintain your blue fire. Oh, and if you're wondering, you can only do this trick with blue fire. 
So try your best to at least get your blue fire until here. I would also like to act on the fact that it is best to try not to jump off this shortcut with blue fire. Because majority of the time, that is actually how I lost blue fire after taking the jump. Even though that I'm 100% sure that I have enough reserves. So for the sake of defeating Velo and taking the safest route, just slide off the shortcut. Now this part is where people are really struggling on with blue fire. And in this example, I actually lost blue fire around here. Right about there. But hey, with what we already did earlier, we're already ahead of Velo. Plus the blue fire pad is just right up ahead. And also this is where Emperor Velo himself loses blue fire. So I'd say it's a win-win for us. And this is exactly why I say you don't have to maintain blue fire all the way. Just make sure that it's enough until you reach the second shortcut. Now on the third lap, repeat the entire process again and maintain your blue fire as much as you can. Of course, if you can maintain it all the way, that's the best case scenario. Unfortunately, for some reason, I lost blue fire just before hitting the shortcut. Even when I have my reserves remain, but hey, just look at where Velo is and notice the speed he's going at. I'm not the only one that lost blue fire but him as well. This tells me that I have nothing to worry about anymore and I can just resume racing all the way for the win. And guys, this is how you can beat Emperor Velo in out of time. Honestly, after watching this again myself, I find out that he isn't really that hard to be honest. As long as you did what I did, you will win him without a doubt. But I can't say for sure of the upcoming developer times. I'm pretty sure the death times will be maintaining their blue fire for the entire race. Players who are unable to maintain their blue fire in this track might have some issue later on. But hey, if it ever comes to that, I'll create another guide for you guys. So if this video helps you out, I hope that you will consider supporting the channel by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I make gaming guides and gameplays and your support will be fully appreciated. If you want to watch me beating Velo on all of the tracks in CTR, click on the left here or you can click on the right side for more of my tips and tricks. This is The Vibrant signing off. Thanks for taking your time in watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one.